Hi guys, welcome to the home of the Ozark Middle and Southern Railway. It's good to have you here. For those of you that have uh, been here before, I really appreciate you coming back. For the, those of you that are here for the first time, I hope you'll stay and enjoy the video. And if you do, that you'll like and subscribe. Uh, in my last video, I talked about how I, was gonna, I had gotten the track down. Uh, we made some adjustments with that by adding a, a, a re another reverse loop, a second reverse loop. And uh, I've got a lot of the buildings in place, kind of where I want them. And uh, so now it's time to start doing some scenery work. You know, I, uh, I thought because this portion of the railroad is, is going to really say uh, Midwest, um, that I wanted to start here. And I'll explain why. Um, nothing says Ozark, Ozarks uh, more than uh, bluffs and rivers. And so that's what I've tried to create here. I've tried, I'm working to create a, a bluff. I, I begun with, with uh, blue foam. Um, if, uh, then I, on top of that, I began applying some, uh, some, just a plaster coat over the base. And then on top of that now, I'm gonna begin applying more plaster and actually carving the rock uh, into, the rock work into it. There's gonna be a lot of stratification and a lot of detail work. And I hope to be able to include you in that process once I, once I, I've done it a little bit and gotten, gotten kind of ex somewhat experienced at, 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 at it. Uh, I've done rock work in plaster before, but never, not, never uh, rock work with this much stratification in it. And we're going to see how this goes. I hope it goes well. Um, up above, you see I've got some pictures that kind of uh, can provide with some visual guidance as I'm kind of going along. And also serve as some inspiration for what it is I'm trying to achieve. You've got the, you've got the bluff here. Well, it goes along here, and back here, and then below the bluff is where the road bed in the track will be, and then below the track is an embankment, and the in, right at the end of the embankment is going to be an inch or two, maybe three in some places, of simulated water, to to give that impression of there being a river, and so you'll you'll have the the, the river, uh, the embankment, the road bed and the bluffs, which I hope will, will kind of help tie this, the theme of the Midwest and the Ozarks uh, together with the railroad. If you've got any ideas uh, regarding any, of the scene, any, any thoughts about the scenery work, you're more welcome to put those in the, in the comments. If you've got any ideas about uh, tunnel liners, um, you're more welcome to share that with us as well. Um, there's a video that was done by Eric Siegel uh, Eric's trains, and uh, he really goes into a lot of depth. Is into, he uses a, a foam to create his tunnel liner? It really works well. I've used, I've actually done that. Uh, this is an awful small tunnel liner, and I don't know if I want to go to the, that extent uh, to go to that much uh, much work to to create this uh, this liner. We'll just have to kind of see how uh, which way I decide to go with it. Um, now it's time for the best part of the video. A part that I really, I really want to show you. Um, last week I re received uh, a package in the mail, and I'm real tickled about it. And uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm not, it's not, really, not going to do a, uh, an unboxing, but I want to show it. I want to show you what I got. I want to do it now. What we have here is Lionel's Fairbanks Morse Trainmaster, road number five fifty, and she, in my view, is a beauty. I was really tickled to find it. It's just in great shape. She she was last uh, listed uh, by Lionel in their uh, in their 2009 Volume Two catalog. Let's see if we can't get her going here.
Now we're going to be entering slow speed territory. Well, she is a beauty. Okay, guys, I think, it, I think that's it for this time around. If you like the video, I hope you'll, uh, you'll uh, smash that like button and subscribe. Until we meet again on the OMS, you all take care.